Okay, now we are going to start to play with Visual Studio Code. So first step is for you to install Visual Studio Code. So this is a code editor, so you can code in the code editor in your local computer instead of using the developer console. Why would you want to do that? Well, it offers much more power and flexibility. So if you are a developer and developing on a daily basis or pretty routine, this is your tool. Before I was using Eclipse and now we are shifting to Visual Studio Code. It has um, so much tools than the developer console. But if you are not developing that often, you can still develop with developer console just fine. Develop on your sandbox and then push your change set, your classes, your triggers, your visual force page, your components over to your production org. But this is another way to develop which has so many tools and let's get started with it. I already have my computer or my Mac installed with Visual Studio Code, so I won't be installing it again. So to install it, just go over to this website here and download. It will detect your computer and install it. You would need to know how to install stuff. <laughs> you should know, otherwise you're in trouble already, right? Okay, so please go ahead and install that now. And you can pause the video while you are installing it. So as I have mine already installed, let's move on. So once you have installed it, launch it. So this is mine. This is what you will see, your welcome page, so to speak. So under learn here, click on the interface overview. So it will give you some overview. This is your file explorer. Shortcut is shift command E. So depending on what computer, if you're on Windows or you're on Mac, it's going to show what's relevant for you. This is to search across files. Use this. Source code management. This is the icon. Launch and debug is this. Manage extensions is this. Okay. And then this here, you can find and run all commands. You can find what commands you want to run here. This is where you can view your errors and warnings, just like developer console at the bottom here. And then you, you can have your terminal here and, and launch your CLI or command line interface. And this is notifications over here. So that's pretty much the quick overview and just click anywhere to get out from this overlay. I'm going to click that. So let's flip back Oh, to our trail. So let's create a new file and let's type hello world to line one. That would be the beginning of all beginnings. File, new file. And then type hello world, I am here. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> okay. And then that's pretty much it. This is uh, just a taste of how visual code, um, visual studio code look and how it feels. So once you've done that, just click the verify here. It's just going to move you forward and get a free 25 points. How about that? Free 25 points. And then we'll move on to the next part where we will be installing the Salesforce extension, which I already have on my Visual Studio Code as well. So let's move on. Next, make Visual Studio Code Salesforce ready. Okay. So first off, you have to install the command line interface or CLI. Based on your operating system, please follow the link. Mine is this one. But I already have installed my CLI on my Mac, so I won't reinstall it because I already have it here. 
so I won't do that again please um, go ahead and install that on yours and then you can move on once you have that you can use sfdx command so on on your visual code studio if I click on my terminal um, at the bottom here and you can go to terminal if I if I type sfdx help see you can see all the help the usage and stuff so you will you will know that your sfdx command line interface has been successfully installed okay so that's how you test it so after you have installed that you need to install the salesforce extension pack which i have done as well so how do you do that go to the extension here this icon is the extension and then you search for salesforce extension pack here i have it already installed so i can't install it again because it's already there all right so please go ahead and install this salesforce extension pack for your for your computer and then you're done and then trailhead recommends for you to set up a brand new fresh trailhead playground where you know your password you have to reset your password we have done this a bunch of times on our previous trails so you would already know how to reset your password so i won't show you again please go ahead and reset your trail ground, uh, trailhead playground password i already know mine i think i have reset it for the developer beginner here and you need to reset this to complete the last step of the visual studio code playing around because you are going to deploy some code onto your playground okay and then you have to log in you have to know the password okay now this is just a free 25 points again just click on it you should get your free 25 points it'll be nice if it's like free 25 bucks you know you can get a nice meal but 25 points is fine come on already okay you know free next is the use visual studio code for salesforce development this is where we get to try some uh, deployment okay so on the top here you can type question mark if i go here so i'm gonna press command p and then you can type question mark there so you can see what is available over there you can also type this prompt and you will see all the available commands all right so move back here so now let's create a project so we're going to type sfdx create project or we're going to actually just click on it so if i command p again and then do that so we have sfdx create project so i'm going to standard project template i'm going to choose this okay vs code quick start enter and then we're going to save it on the documents folder which is that fine override okay now we're going to enter here so now we can actually um, search for the project scratch definition or def to json okay and then we are going to search for org name and replace that with learning vs code okay command p search for that we have this i'm going to click here and then i'm going to change org name to learning vs code okay so i'm going to save this guy and we're done okay command s that's saving so now we are going to authenticate or authorize an org okay authorize an org so command p again and then sfdx authorize an org i'm going to copy this before we go there so here command p command 
prompt authorize an org it already knows it's kind of smart right and then it's a developer which is a production it's not a sandbox right and then i'm going to alias i'm gonna do that and hit enter pop the magic dragon so now my developer password i'm going to actually pop up my i don't want to know my org name so i'm going to launch my my trailhead playground because i have a bunch of logins there right so resourceful raccoon resourceful raccoon thmpxl okay so allow access to visual visual code studio yes sir please allow and that's it now we can go back here and okay there you go extension recommendations let's skip that for now so we are authenticated with the with the alias of vs code playground that's our alias okay remember that so go back to our terminal and flip back to our playground our trailhead we're not quite done yet so that is where were we we just authorized our playground so our visual code studio can deploy and access the org this org here all right so that's what we are doing we are giving or opening the door to this org which is our playground to visual force uh, to, to visual studio code visual studio code i keep flipping stuff around visual studio code right yeah visual studio code not visual code studio anyways uh, we have given authorization there to visual studio code next we want to create an apex class okay so we are going to the force app and then we are going to the class and um here so click on the explorer icon under that click on force app let's do that first so force app i'm, I'm going to click on there and then command p create it knows smart so now I want to name it what? Um, I want to name the class account controller. It keeps um, if you if you switch to another window, it keeps going off, right? So that's normal. So click there. The class name is account controller, and hit enter. And force up default class default classes sure I want it there so we have a standard shell of um, um, account controller is with sharing class and then it's blank now we want to copy this okay let's copy that onto our visual code studio or visual studio code I'm going to save this so that's safe now after we saved it in line three of the code highlight the query there and then command p and then we want execute circle okay basically we want to try to execute this circle so when you are writing code and then you want to try your circle or saucer make sure it's not it's not bad you can execute it from here as well okay and then type that and then oh execute uh, with rust api okay show there there you go so it's actually executing what we have selected there okay pretty cool id name active right so that's how you can execute your circle from within the visual 
Visual Studio Code. All right, we get it right. So now we want to deploy. So on classes here, if you right click on the classes folder, you can choose deploy source to org. Okay. So now um, I'm going to try that. So classes on this account controller, right click, deploy source to org there. Okay. Boom. Running, 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 running. Do -dum -do -dum -do -dum -do -dum. Show. Okay, no errors, everything looks fine. So now if I go to my playground here, and I'm gonna go to Apex classes, we should have account controller, which we just deployed there. Account controller deployed by Jimmy Tanzil. There. Pretty neat, right? So you can also do the same thing to any other Salesforce org, but not onto production. You can't do that in production. You have to deploy it on a sandbox and then push it from um, sandbox to production. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, a simple walkthrough, a simple quick walkthrough of Visual Studio Code. And that's the last part. I'm, I'm gonna get my other free 25 points. So that's almost nothing, right? It's pretty much just touching the very, very surface of, of the whole development using using Visual St uh, Code Studio or Visual Studio Code. But in the developer intermediate and advanced, we will use it way more deeper. We are going to create a package using this. We are going to deploy the package. You will see and learn how to create manage package and how how does it work until you can actually, you know, deploy this manage package to a um, Salesforce app exchange so that people can install it, right? Okay, so that's the final goal of our developer trail fun stuff to be able to deploy your own app to the Salesforce app exchange and make some dough for you, make some money, you know, buy something nice for something for someone special. Okay, I want to start and start preaching and let's end this and I'll see you on the next section which is, I think, just a quick sockle and saucer, um, how to do that. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.